I'd like to talk with you today about crochet hooks, specifically those with interchangeable hook sizes that are ergonomic. I realize most of you know me better for knitting and machine knitting in particular than for crochet, but like many crafters, I do both things. And as always, the right tools for the job make it a lot easier to enjoy your work. Right now you're looking at some of my recent crochet projects. One reason to do both crafts is that a knitting machine, while loads of fun, isn't a good fit in your purse, and a crochet project is much more likely to be. It's also a great skill for machine knitters to possess because you can finish some machine knitted projects with crochet to very nice effect. You can learn to make this one in the crochet trimmed hats for the whole family video. Today I'd specifically like to show you these crochet hooks. The one on the right is from an Etsy seller. These are bait style hooks. Quite a few Etsy craftsmen make them. They can be turned wood as mine is or sometimes poured and polished acrylic handles. I have some of both and I've really enjoyed them for the several years that I've had them. In case you're not aware, Boy is that more tapered shape on the left. Bates is the sharper shape on the right. Some needleworkers have a loyal commitment to one shape or the other. And while I tend to favor Bates, I use them both comfortably. And I tend to use them in specific, different ways from each other. The set on the left is an Elegant product. And that is the brand name Elegant with two Gs. They are still for sale on Amazon, but I found mine on eBay. You'll see me crocheting with both hooks in a minute so you can see the different style that I find that it takes to work with them. Both of them are considered ergonomic. The definition of ergonomic is an object that contributes to both ease and comfort of use and maybe adds efficiency. And both of these hooks count Basically because instead of the skinny little shafts of plain crochet hooks, they've got bigger bulbs that are easier to grip. I've had the set on the right for several years. The set on the left is new to me, and when I looked up the reviews on Amazon, most people liked it, but I heard two complaints. One was that people couldn't get it to tighten down and hold the hook properly. And I think, in that case, they misunderstood the instructions. I'll go over that when I actually crochet for you. The other, and you can see why this might be true, is that for some hands it was too short. For me, it's a comfortable fit in the palm of my hand as I rotate. My hands are on the small side of medium, and that's great, but I can definitely see if you were a taller, bigger bone person with longer hands, the fat part of the ball might not just plop into the palm of your hand as it does on me, and that would be more difficult to grip. I'm moving my hand around in the picture. You're losing the stitching now, so you can see the fit in my hand. When working into live knit stitches or an e-wrapped cast on, as I'm doing here, I prefer this hook. It gives me a little bit more control, and I think the tapered end makes it easier to get through the stitches. As compared to crocheting, the openings are in slightly unexpected spaces. I don't mean you don't know where they are. I mean, muscle memory is telling your hand, look for it over here based on crocheting, and it may not be quite where your hand expects. And I think the boy hook does a better job of finding it and slipping into it. This hat in many sizes is its own separate movie and I'll make sure that there is a link to it in the program notes. Now I'm working with the other set of hooks. In both cases, just for your information, I'm using a size H hook with worsted weight yarn. And this particular pattern involves both post stitches and regular double crochet stitches. So there's double crochet once, double crochet again, and then I'll work a front post double crochet around the row below. It's waffle stitch, something I've recently learned and am really enjoying. With this style of hook, here's how you get it apart. The opposite end allows it to magnetically attach to a necklace. 
and it slides right back together. And even though that's a very passive setup, it's nice and sturdy. I have no trouble with it coming apart. Note that the elegant hook has two little O-rings above the part that we twist to loosen and tighten it. I think this is why some people have had trouble with instability. The instructions aren't abundantly clear that there should be two O-rings. When I tried it with one, it was unstable. With two, it's perfect. No wobbliness or coming apart at all. Both styles of hooks state their sizes. Those with custom handles state them in two traditional American terms. This is a size H or 8 hook, whereas the elegant states it in the American letter term and the number of millimeters. These two hooks are nominally the same size, and I do find that I can match the gauge exactly using either hook. Therefore, one extremely nice thing is that I can alternate doing a couple rows with each different hook. And because they rest in my hand differently and the motion of using them is somewhat different, I can cut way down on repetitive strain syndrome, carpal tunnel, all the nasty things you get from overdoing, which we can't resist. These O-rings would be easy to lose. And of course, they're a wear item to some degree. And some reviewers on Amazon expressed concern about that. Jack has told me not to worry. He's pretty sure that we could obtain replacements at purveyors such as Granger and Fastenal. Other ergonomic hooks do exist, and other sets with interchangeable heads exist. I have to confess that because of my great preference for wooden handles over plastic, these are the only ones that I've actually tried and used. They are not inexpensive. They're sort of an investment. But if you can afford them and you love great tools, I think you may enjoy them as I do. I have some other videos on crocheting that you may enjoy. Some of them are on trims for knits. Some of them are entirely crocheted projects. I will try to put links for all of them in the program notes so that you can enjoy them too.